Hey there folks, in this video we're going to be improving some of your chart backgrounds to increase the visual clarity of your report pages. So let's say that um, you start with a report page that looks like this, and it's not too bad, we've got a line chart and a couple bar charts down there. Uh, the problem is, is if you look at all of the white space on these charts, it's kind of hard to get a sense of where one chart begins and another chart ends. It's not too bad on this page, but as you increase the number of visuals on a page, it all sort of just turns into a big mishmash. Of, of, of bars and lines and it's hard to see you know where one chart begins and the other chart ends so if we add a really light background that can really improve things watch so we've got this right here look what happens when we add just a light gray background right and I've almost used uh, too dark of a gray here it really needs to be just very very subtle but by having this subtle background I, I think it, it, it makes the page much easier to look at and get a sense of, of where the different charts are like it if you look at this it almost takes you a second to realize that there's three, that there's, I'm sorry, four charts on the page. But if you look right here, it, it, you can very easily see that there's four charts and your eyes instantly can go from one to the next to the next. It's very, very easy. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's come here and start with our, uh, start with our uh, sort of not quite as good report page. So what we're going to do is, uh, one thing you might be tempted to do is click on a particular tile, open up the paint roller, and go to background, turn background on and just, you know, uh, pick one of these colors. The problem is, is this colors the entire tile, which really isn't what you want because it just doesn't look right. It just looks kind of kind of gross. This stuff is here to aid the information. The information itself is here within the what's called the plot area, right? So we want the plot area to be a darker gray, but not the entire tile itself. Like, look at the difference there. Yeah, that's much, much cleaner. So to do that, click here. We're going to first turn off that background. Then we're going to have to go create um, a, a plot area. So if you go to plot area, you can't just apply an RGB color, which is too bad. That'd be really nice. But you can add an image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to paint and create a 2x2 two two pixel image of the gray color that we want. So I'm going to head down to my Windows Start menu. You can't see me doing it. But I'm going to type in paint. And I've got this paint desktop app right here. And I'm going to click on that. If you're Windows, you should just have that. Let me shrink this down a little bit so you can see it. Oh, there we go. That, that worked out really well. Okay, so we're going to go to File. We're going to go to New. It's going to create a new image. Uh, mine, by default, is already set to 2x2 two two because that's the last one I used. If yours is not, you're going to want to go to File, Properties, and click on Units. Change that to Pixels if it's not already on Pixels. And change this from whatever it is to 2x2. Two two. You can also do 1x1. One uh, the only problem is that the, it becomes so small it becomes hard to paint. I find 2x2 two two to be pretty nice. And we don't do 100 by 100 because we want this file to be small. Really teeny tiny. Okay, so now I'm going to go to View. Zoom in a whole bunch. Yep. Okay, there's my image right there. I'm going to go to Home. I'm going to go to Edit Colors. And uh, the number I came up with that works pretty well is 155. So we're going to do a 155 gray. So we're going to change the red value to 155, the green value to 155, and the blue value to 155. So that's that particular shade of gray right there. Looks like that. The idea being that since the slider back in Power BI goes from 0 to 100, as in 0 to 100%, we want to have 100 shades of gray between um, the, the gray that we've got and pure white. That way, every time we go up or down 1% in our slider, we go up or down one value of... Uh, of R, G, and B. So it gets one um, you know, uh, point higher or lower each time. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and add this to our custom colors. Click OK. I'm going to go grab my paintbrush and make sure that my color is selected and hit paint. Go file, save as. You could save it as a bitmap or a PNG. Uh, for fun, let me just go save it for a, B a BMP right now. See? 24-bit BMP, that is correct. I'm going to save mine to my desktop. And I'm just going to call this gray 155 2x2. Two two. Whatever name you want to give it is just fine. Okay, now that we've got that, we can minimize or close paint. That's fine. Either way is just fine. Now we're going to click on one of our charts. Let's click on this chart right here. And we're going to go to plot areas under the paintbrush. Add an image. And it's going to say, hey, where do you want to add it from? Well, if you're not on desktop, go to your desktop. There we go, gray 155. Oop. Go ahead, hit open. OK, 
Okay. Now, uh, it looks like nothing happened, and that's because if, if you were able to see it, there's actually one little teeny tiny 2x2 two two gray pixel somewhere in there. But we don't want to do that. We're going to change the image fit from normal to fit. Right? It's going to stretch the image out to take up the entire space. Okay. Now, this, um, actually, that's not too bad. When you bring it in initially, you might get a transparency of like 0%, and that's way too dark, right? So the idea being, uh, you, you start somewhere, let's say 80%. I'm going to type in 80 right there. Now, if you click right here, you can drag this slider right and left. I wouldn't do it that way. Click right there so you've got the little blinking cursor. Then just go up and down, like with your, with your uh, keyboard. Notice when I go up, it increases the transparency a little bit. So you just sort of keep going up. Basically, the idea is it, it's a little bit like Photoshop, right? You want to just be able to see it, right? It should just be dark enough that you can see it and not any darker. Because if it's, you know, like this dark, you're paying attention to the, to the gray background of the chart, not the, uh, the series in the chart. So you want a very subtle background. So let's bring it up to, oh, for this, let's do 90%. I think that works pretty good. Um, ideally, uh, if you happen to know if this is for a presentation or something, test it on the actual projector that you'll be working with. Because even though you might think all monitors are created equal, they're not. So if you're doing this on a projector, you might want it to be a little bit darker or lighter um, than you're, if you're doing it on a monitor or an iPad or something. Okay, just so you can see that process again, I've already created the image. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to go to Paintbrush, Plot Area, Add Image, Gray 155. Okay, change the image fit from normal to fit. And we're going to change the transparency to 90. I think that's what we had up here. Yep, yes it is. Perfect. 90 is exactly what we want. Okay, let's go down here. Add an image. Gray 155. Click on that. Click open. And 90. And there you go. Change the image fit to fit. So it stretches out. Go to by product. Add image. I think you see where this is going. Click OK. Change the image fit to fit. And there you go. One last little hint that I'll give you that um, if you happen to have a page, right, and you want to draw attention to one chart or another, one thing you can do is actually slightly darken that image's background to draw visual attention to it. You don't want to do it a lot, right? You don't want it to be really obvious. You just want it to be really subtle, okay? So we're going to click on this chart. Let's say that this chart, for whatever reason, is the most important one, probably not on the page, but of these three down here, right? So what we'll do is we'll come down here, and let's just darken it just a little bit. Is that? It's almost too much. Yeah, that's a little too much. Let's go down to like 85. It's kind of hard to see on my screen. I don't know how well this is going to do when you render. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So even though, like, if you look at this page, you know, just with the naked eye, you can't see it. Um, you know, these look like they're the same shades of gray, but they're actually not. This is a tiny bit darker. And what that's going to do is it's going to draw the eye towards this chart rather than this one or this one, which have the slightly lighter backgrounds. Okay, well, I do hope that was helpful, and I will see you next video.